what you see here is a soap made with 100 percent olive oil turmeric and honey it is a gentle recipe that's very effective if you need to even out your skin tone and it is formulated specifically for the face so join me as i make this soap today so welcome back this is stephanie oki here to start with we're adding some distilled water then i'll go ahead and add some citric acid and then i will stir that until it dissolves as usual then measure up some lye and then dissolve the lye in the citric acid solution remember when it's citric acid solution you have to go slowly with your lye so that it doesn't fizzle up and you know kind of bubble up on you <laughs> um you can usually add i mean generally you add lye slowly to water but specifically with citric acid you have to be careful so that's why i do it this way and then once i'm done with the lye i will go ahead and measure out my oil <laughs> Now, if you're joining me for the first time, welcome. I really hope you enjoy my content. On this channel, I show my soap making as is, the good and the bad. And if you've been here before and you're watching again, you guys already know you're the most valuable <laughs> players. So thank you guys for watching. And just don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. So you can see that the lye is completely dissolved in the citric acid solution. Um, you just really need to make sure that it's clear. And then I put that aside and go ahead with the measurement of my oil. Because <laughs> normally I say oils, but when it's just one oil, I'm kind of happy to just say my oil. So now I'm just pouring in the left of the, left of the, the rest of the olive oil. <laughs> I've been making these mistakes lately in all my videos. Have you guys watched like my previous video? I literally had the same issue. I think it's called spoonerism. Anyway, so now I'm just pouring um, out some olive oil. I'm measuring that out. I'm going to leave the recipe for this in the description box. If you're a new soap maker, this video is ideal for you. The only downside is this soap is not going to be ready for a year. So if you're starting off making soap and you want to make this soap, yes, it's going to be very easy to use, sorry, to make. And you can actually probably even use it after a month. It's just that it's not going to last long. It's going to melt away very quickly. So for best results with a Castile soap, and that's 100% olive oil soap, it's best to leave it for at least a year to cure. Um, so yes, but this is a perfect soap for like a, a beginner, to be honest with you. And if you don't want to make Castile soap, you can then um, just make something different with, you know, a basic recipe, but some oils that will not melt away quickly. So as you just saw, I just added some turmeric and honey and look at the bubbles coming out here. I just found that really weird and just thought to show you guys. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to blend in the turmeric and the honey. I'm just tapping my blender here, my stick blender to just make sure bubbles come out for aesthetic purposes. Purposes, not really a big deal. And then I'm just going to blend in, you know, I really like to blend in the turmeric and the honey just to make sure that everything is blended. And as you guys saw, my honey was crystallized. And then here I'm just checking the temperature of my lye water and it is now 109 degrees. Honestly, I don't care too much about temperature for this soap. In fact, I would have even preferred a warmer temperature so that it would go to a trace quickly. And so I'm blending away here. And you're going to see here, right? Because I actually like let you guys see how much I stick blended to try to get to a trace. With 100% olive oil soap, the stick, blend, the stick blending is literally forever. So I'll let you guys watch this.
now once i'm done stick blending i like to just really like scrape down the stick blender just because every little bit of soap is important <laughs> it's very difficult but i try to get as much as possible of it and then i'll just grab my flower mode because i love that mode and i'm going to pour my soap into the mold and that's how you make the soap it's super simple but it's a super super effective recipe i find that my 100 percent olive oil soaps really work the base sorry work the best on my face i was gonna say base on my fest right okay work the best on my face um because they just are so gentle and so effective that they clean very well and they clean my pores and my skin always looks good so just look at that yummy wet soap i love how bright orange it is and the contrast from the mold as well so this is now about three days later yes i waited three days to unmold and look at how shiny and neat that came out i just want you guys to take a look at this can you see just how lovely this is right this is so so neat it's the neatest honestly sometimes patients especially when you're using single column molds like this are they called column molds but anyway single little tiny molds like this it's always best to just leave your soap to stay there and just enjoy that mold because look at how lovely this is anyway so this is how you make this soap it's a really like i was saying it's very very cleansing i i find that whenever i use my castile soaps i i literally have zero breakouts to be honest with you and i mean this and this is not even me trying to market my business since i started using my handmade soaps on my face especially the ones that i really um formulate for my face i have had zero breakouts zero like my skin has never been better in my entire life and i literally used to use everything you could find in stores like i would spend 200 dollars on like facial stuff but honestly like these recipes you should just check out my playlist for facial i'm gonna leave it up there for my facial soaps you will see like literally all the soaps i make for the face are just so beautiful there's a little speck of honey there but um they're just so beautiful and so effective on the skin and honestly they're the best so you can check out my website if you want some thank you guys for watching and i really hope you enjoyed this and just take a look at the beauty again that's all i wanted to show you guys here just take a look at this <laughs> anyways i really hope you enjoyed watching this and um if you enjoyed this leave a comment below let me know if you what you think or if you're going to be trying it have a great day guys bye